Hey there, true believers. Rain Kisaragi. And so Here with more Let's Play Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem The Creature Campaign. So, between videos, before we start doing anything else, between videos, I finished the tower for the third time and got... Where is she? Uh, Selena on my army. We had a chapter with her, and she seemed like a pretty decent human being until we had to kill her. So now she's here. She's back again. Don't worry. Um, also, for finishing the tower, we uh, we uh, we, uh, we got uh, jo uh, uh, Joshua's mom, uh, 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 Ismer. She has a Shamsher, a Windsword, and Master Seal. Pretty cool things to ha get for free. Um, I've also used some stat up items on my characters um, and prepared myself a little bit more for the Lagdao ruins, which will which we will begin now. That means nothing to me. Good. <laughs> Well, the, well, as I said in the last, as I said in the last video, which was totally just before we started doing this one, it totally wasn't. Um, the uh, the ruins are the harder version of the um, the tower. It's the harder uh, monster grindy area. So there's that. All right. And basically, I've made everyone I stronger. I have minimal context. Good. Good to go. All right. Let's go. Let's yes. do this. And. Since the missions began, I think it's time to time to uh, quickly jump into a into one of your random topics, Sony. Okay, okay. Before I get into random topics, I have a story. Today. Oh, you have a story. I have a story about things that happened to me, and and they're very. It was. It is a. It is a thing. I haven't actually told the story yet, so I don't know if it's gonna end up being one of those stories where it has no point, and I'll just have to be like, "Oh, you said I've been there." Well, let's certainly <laughs> hope it's not that one. But uh, I was, uh, for those of you who don't know, most of the time I spend my time well writing because I write things, <laughs> mostly crappy internet things. But I've gotten a couple of things published. That's um, impressive. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm impressed it's with it myself. also so humble about it. I, I am impressed with it myself. I really am. To be, uh, to be fair, it's just I, I'm, I'm, it, it's, it's a thing that happened, <laughs> and that's how kind of how I view it. Anyways, I, so I end up uh, working a lot for my like bedroom. And, and I was, I had my window open because it's very hot here. It's middle of summer, and summer is hot. Um, <laughs> I'm the best writer, as you can see by my choices of words. It was hot um, because summer is hot. <laughs> These great works you can find. Um, I, I'm much more coherent on paper, guys, I promise. Uh, it, anyways, I had my window open, and usually like the sounds out of here just out of my window are you know the it's cars from the the nearby street and stuff sometimes you'll hear them on recordings that have me in them every now and then um every now and then i i, I try not but there i you know it's not like i could clothesline every motorcyclist that comes speeding down the road that i live well you in. could you just choose not to i i choose not to i like my arm not shattered from Sheer impact. Nah, you'll be fine. <laughs> well, I had my window open and I was working and and I had I had some song playing, so it was something or another. And then I thought I heard something. It was very strange. So I stopped my music and I listened just a little bit, uh, a little bit more. And outside my window were the faint sounds of an accordion. All right. <laughs> This is not typical. D I don't think it's not. typical for most places. Generally, random accordion is not a thing that this would just would happen. I I don't I like like unless you're just like ah yes I'm near the polka academy. Then I imagine it's fairly uh, common. Of uh, 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 Germany or something. <laughs> then I, I imagine polka just that uh, like random polka accordion is not something you hear very often. The thing is, it was very faint, but it definitely had that kind of, uh, it definitely had that kind of realness and uh, to uh, uh, to its sound that was like, no, this is not a recording. Someone is playing the accordion. Right. The question is, 
Where are they coming from? I could not find the source of the accordion. I looked. I looked very intently for this mysterious accordion. I could not find it. I, I, I could not tell specifically, like, what direction it comes from. Like, I live in an apartment and stuff, so there might be, like, I, I, there there's this neighbor that, like, I never, ever see. And I'm hoping it's him just so I have another piece of his puzzle. Just... I have very mysterious neighbors. Just sort of hangs around the leader hose and that's... I, I, no, I don't know. I know he likes Marvel Comics because he has he has Marvel Comics stuff in the back of his car. So you check out people's cars. And I think his 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 little me on his 3DS looks like a goat. I think he <laughs> might. I, I, I think it's the goat guy. All right. Yeah, you've uh, you even told the goat guy story on this channel, so they don't okay. know what you're talking okay. about. <laughs> okay. Every now and then, I am worried. Uh, like I I I. Every now and then, I get a mysterious me in, uh, on my on my 3DS, and I hardly ever take my 3DS when I'm running errands because I'm walking and, you know, I'm not really running into people. Uh, but, but every now and then, I will get a me that looks like a goat man. And I'm convinced there's a neighbor that I do not know that actually looks like a goat man. <laughs> And I am convinced this is the same neighbor that was playing the accordion. Is actually he was actually playing it fairly well. It wasn't bad accordion. It was actually quite well done accordion. But at the same uh, of time, it is accordion. At the end of the day, this is some guy who says, "You know what? I want to learn an instrument." Which instrument do you want to learn? The do you want to learn to play the guitar? No, the accordion. I want to play the squeeze. <laughs> Squeeze box. So now what I so now what I'm going to call accordions. That's that is actually an alternate name for There you go. I will I will call all accordions squeeze boxes now. Regardless of anything. I wanna I wanna I wanna play perhaps the dorkiest instrument this side of a tuba. Oddly enough, also in polka. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's just they look they look, they look like dorks, they play dorky instruments. It's really just we were just band geeks that grew up. And, and, I mean, no offense to Polka. I actually find Polka fairly enjoyable, considering what it is. But honestly, I'm it's... I'm not against Polka either. Okay, so like like I was I wanted to make sure I'm not just hearing things, so I went to go. I, because for the longest, uh, I, I I can't believe I haven't told this story. Have I told the story of the beeping? Uh, the what? On here, the beeping, in in my apartment. No, I don't think you have. Oh my god. Okay. This is the story hour from Sahony Now we've moved away from the random <laughs> topics. We're just... I I am, I, I I'm sorry. I have a bunch of stories I wish to tell. Um, okay, so about a year ago. More than a year ago at this point, I would uh, it, it like uh, there a beeping started, and it was super low pitch, and it sounded kind of like a fire uh, a fire alarm, but it would be kind of random at points. And and the thing is, is that it was like buried and muffled, and I thought maybe the battery's dying on our fire alarm. Nope, that's not it. I I thought I I I I started. I, I started looking for it. Is there something that I own that's beeping? I could not find the source of this beeping. Uh, and and when I, I like asked my roommate, "Hey, can you hear that?" He he couldn't hear it. I thought, okay, well the beeping kind of stopped now. Maybe maybe he just needs to be here when it's in there. It's there's got to be something here. The beeping would start just at random intervals. But I, I, at any time of the day or night, I could not find like any reason why this uh, beeping would start. There, there seemed to be like no cause to it. I, 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 I thought maybe it was something upstairs. Maybe, maybe it, I, I just couldn't find anything at all. I'm telling the story very terribly. I'm aware, but right. you have to realize this. This beeping is it, it drove me 
wild because the thing is, is I didn't complain about it for months because I thought, well, you know, it's just beeping. I'll get over it. it it'll there, go it, away it, at it some point. It, it like it keep, but at the same time, I was like searching my roommate's closet, searching my closet, searching just drawers in the house for the source of this beeping for months, and I could not find it. I, and at the same time, my roommate would never hear it. I was worried that I was going insane. Insanity sounds like beeping. I, I'm just, I'm worried that I was going to end up just in a mental hospital, scribbling about how the beeping never stops. <laughs> and I was like, well, I better keep it to myself, just in case I am crazy. <laughs> they don't have any evidence to use against me this way. They won't know if I don't tell anyone. <laughs> well, you see, he heard the beeping, it, clearly. Clearly he's insane. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to tell anyone because I was worried maybe I was crazy. Like, it came to a point where I had to go talk to my upstairs neighbors. I never talk to my neighbors because I am socially awkward and nervous. And this is probably, like, my first interaction with them. Like, do you have anything that beeps? Just, it sounds kind of like, kind of super low, like a super high pitch or low pitch and, and just at random time, like a, like a, like an, like a alarm or, or like a fire alarm, like a clock. I'm just, I'm just like trying to do this and I'm probably sounding like a crazy person. I'm like, well, it's always right above my room. And but but my roommate can't hear it because he has he has my roommate has like tinnitus so he can't hear low pitch sounds it's always fun very well yeah so so the beeping did exist i should put uh, i should point out at this point that it did actually exist but he could not hear it and he's the only one who shares the apartment with me so he's really the only one around uh, uh, uh that could also possibly hear this noise it drove me insane. It started to get it. It started like gnawing away at me. I would wear headphones at night with the music full blast just to drown it out enough so I could sleep. That is how bad it was. It would wake me up in the middle of the night, and I would search for this beeping. <laughs> um. Really, sure we shouldn't be <laughs> chuckling at this. This is. This is awful. fairly horrible. It went on. It went on for over. Over nine months, <laughs> and I just kept it to myself for about five of those. <laughs> so, really, what you should take away from this is I have a high tolerance for bullshit. Yeah, he, he has a he has a very <laughs> high tolerance for um for for the sanity effects. <laughs> Pretty much, I probably have really high sanity in Call of Cthulhu or something. <laughs> Quite possibly. But I would start laying awake in the middle of the night, just going, oh god. Oh god, what if it's like a corpse that uh, of a builder guy who got sealed into his, into the walls and like that's his crappy sports, a sports watch just going off. Well, you should. I'm going to be on 60 minutes. They're going to find a builder's body in my uh, in my walls. Because I I was driven so crazy by this beeping, I took an I took a hammer to the walls. There are days where I'm like, all right, where should I take the hammer? Where is the body? I I start to be like, I, I, I could like I would prefer just be haunted. I just I get I can I can deal with ghosts. Ghosts ghosts no problem. But beeping beeping is driving me insane. Ghost I can at least talk to. And possibly try to reason with. <laughs> this beeping is. <laughs> I can't talk. To, I can't talk to this beeping. I can't talk to this beeping. You know what? And then it started to get to a point where I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, corpse. I hope your body never gets found. <laughs> Sony dropping f bombs like, like like the classy <laughs> bastard he is. I am. I'm sorry. I felt very strongly about the beeping. <laughs> Very I, serious. And this, and this, very serious part and this in my life. invisible man in the walls that never existed. 
So, Finally, like, so uh, at, uh, at, uh, at, the, at the end of the day, what was the beefing? I, I, yeah, what happened, I, I, what, there's, uh, what happened is I had a French friend visiting from France. <laughs> Generally, where <laughs> French, French, French friends Gen are from. Generally. Generally. Um, and he was just like, do you hear that beeping? And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it too. I'm not insane. And he's like, do, do you find, and it, he took like a couple of minutes and found it, and it's the power converter to in my PS2, and it was rusted, and that's why it was making beeping noises. Uh -huh. I did not know this was possible. I am not an electronics person. <laughs> he just unplugged it, and that solved the problem, and I'm like, oh. Are, are, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I was, I was just like, oh. Okay. Well, at least I'm not crazy. <laughs> Good. So Sahoni's not insane because the beeping was real. Yeah. So I, I had to. I, I. So basically, back to the polka thing. I had to make sure this wasn't just a repeat of this, and I was actually crazy. The beeping infected me long term, guys. It did. It lost. <laughs> it, it's caused lasting sanity effects. <laughs> So I had to make sure, and then my roommate was like, oh, can't hear it, can't hear it. And then the car stopped going by my window, he's like, oh, there it is. He's like, oh, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank god, it didn't evolve into polka. <laughs> I still can't find it. I still can't find the polka. I couldn't find uh, who it was, so I just, I was like, oh, polka ghost. It's a polka ghost. I am the polka ghost. <laughs> Beware. The polka ghost. Good. That is the... This is the that proper is the, fun that is the scientific terminology for this kind of haunting. Yeah, a polka geist. Yep. Good. That that was my story about beepings and other mysterious <laughs> noises. It was a long story about <laughs> beeping, hauntings, and polka. You all can be happy I, that you I'm now sorry. know. This. I was worried Barbara Walters was gonna make me cry on 60 Minutes. <laughs> when when did you first suspect you had a you, you, you had a body in your wall six months ago. Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> exactly. Oh no, I just thought I'd do it. I, I didn't want to be insane. <laughs> I, no, it, it, like part of it was I just I, I I I was like I can deal with it, and this is I'm living in a place where the windows aren't shattered and the roof isn't leaking and I have food so I'm not gonna complain and part of it was just I, I don't want people to think I'm insane <laughs> which is a fair thing to want to uh, to, uh, to want people to see, uh, people be, people to think yeah like I didn't want to be like a burden or anything just complaining about a sound no one else could hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But but it's it, but it, it started making mad at my roommate. I was like, you really can't hear this? How can you sleep? What's wrong with you? Well, Karu is a bear, so I mean, yeah, pretty much, he is a bear. Hi hibernation, it's not a not an uncommon thing. All right, but yeah, that's that's the end of that story. The time Sahoni went insane because of beeping. <laughs> Hey, I lasted a long while. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> uh, so what are one of your topics? Uh, well, <laughs> on the topic on the topic of insanity, because I, I there was a segue built in here. Uh, ah. We uh, we uh, we uh, we have uh, we have a, f a, f a, f a, f a physician and psychologist, uh, Casper Max a uh, Casper Max Brocious. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he was born in, uh, East, uh, East, uh, 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 East Germany, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in 18, 1825. He was, yeah, he was a psychiatrist, and, uh, and, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he strongly believed that, that, uh, that, uh, that people who were mentally ill should be, uh, should be made to feel more at home with their surroundings in, uh, d during treatment, rather than just, you are thrown into a cell. So... Oh, that's something. 
think I can strongly agree I, with. I know I can as well. So uh, so he uh, he actually did a lot a lot of like pioneering work uh, uh, in uh, 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 in sort of like recovery for people with mental illness. So it's a good guy. Yeah, I can tell you a lot. Just I, surroundings alone can help a lot with that. Oh, I can totally imagine. Yeah, there. I mean, there should be like. A, big effort put into kind of uh, comforting surroundings. Uh, I feel like there's segues in this, but I feel like I shouldn't talk about these segues, especially after I talk about my fears of being insane. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> then, then you do not have to talk about them. Okay, I'll just keep the... I'll be mysterious. Yeah, so let's just be, let's be coy about this and not say anything. Also, as a, yeah. as a timestamp for you, Sahoni, I have finished the first floor of the ruins now. <laughs> oh, yay. Yay, I know. How long have we been talking? About 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, god 